Lesson 3, Creating OLARP Cube Part 1, Creating an Analysis Services Project Open SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio. On the file menu point to new and then select project. Select the business intelligence project project type and select analysis services project template. Name your project. The text in the solution name box changes automatically to match the project name. Part 2, Creating a Data Source In Solution Explorer, right-click the Data Source folder and select New Data Source. The Data Source wizard appears. Click Next. On the Select How to Define the Connection page, click the New button. Choose Provider, Microsoft Olay. Decibels Provider for SQL Server. Type the server name. Choose, Use SQL Server Authentication and type Login and Password. Select Save My Password. Choose Database. Click Test Connection and then click OK twice. Click Next. On the Impersonation Information page, select Use the Service Account and click Next. Type Data Source Name and click Finish to complete the wizard. Part 3 Creating a Data Source View In Solution Explorer, right-click the Data Source Views folder and select New Data. Click Next twice. Select Tables and then click Add Related Tables. Click Next. Type Data Source View Name and click Finish. The Data Source View Designer appears displaying the tables you selected. Part 4 Creating the Cars Dimension In Solution Explorer, right click the Dimensions folder and select New Dimension. Select the cars from main table list. Select the carriage from the name column list and then click next. From the available attributes list, select the car and click next. Drag the car and model attribute from the attribute pane and drop to hierarchies pane. Change the hierarchies name. Deploy the project. In Object Explorer, right-click the car's dimension, and select Process. Click Yes. In the Process Dimension dialog box, click Run. Click close twice. You can preview the dimension. Click the browser tab. Part 5 Creating the customer's dimension.
In a similar way, create the customer dimension. Part 6, Creating the New or Used Dimension In a similar way, create the new or used dimension. Part 7, Creating the Payment Method Dimension In a similar way, create the payment method dimension. Part 8, Creating the Sales Date Dimension In a similar way, create the sales date dimension. Part 9, Creating the Sales Hours Dimension In a similar way, create the Sales Hours Dimension.
Part 10, Creating the Salesman Dimension. In a similar way, create the salesman dimension. Part 11, Creating the Sales Place Dimension In a similar way, create the sales place dimension. Part 12, Creating the Olap Cube. In Solution Explorer, right-click the Cubes folder and select New Cube. Click Next. Verify that Use Existing Tables is selected and click Next. Select the Transactions underscore Facts underscore Table. Type the cube name and click Finish. The cube designer appears displaying the structure of the transactions cube. In Solution Explorer, right click the transactions cube and select Process Cube. Then click Yes. Click Run to Process Cube. Click Close twice. Select Browser tab to preview Cube.
Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com